good boy. So I'm just teaching him here that if I grab his collar, I want him to be still. Um, so if he's trying to sniff the ground a lot and just being really active, I'm pulling in the opposite direction from where he wants to go. And we were just doing some food training, so he's looking for food all over the place. And I am not going to let him go until he settles. So all this sniffing and being crazy. Now I let him go. Good job, bud. Nice boy. Uh, and I do that regardless of what body part I'm handling. So whether it's the collar or the ears or the, the muzzle or the feet. Um, the more he's struggling and antsy, the more I'm just going to hold on to him. So now I can do it again. I want him to learn that being touched by me is a cue that he needs to pay attention to me. Good boy. And he got it much quicker that time because he's really smart. Um, so if he's sniffing and I grab his collar, he needs to be more attentive to me than he is to whatever he's doing. Because the reality is, um, me grabbing his collar is no different than me using the leash to get his attention. And if he's ignoring that sort of pressure, then he'll always ignore it. <clears throat> he's got his coat's getting very tangled. I'm trying not to pull his hair. Nice. And he's already starting to learn. Oh, sorry, his butt's in your face. He's already starting to learn that um, when I grab him, he just needs to look at me and then I'll let him go. Good job, buddy. So cute. So cute. So from here, once I've got a dog that understands that collar grab means you need to settle and just let me do my thing, then I can do easy things like look in the ears really quick. Oh, your ears need to be cleaned. And look in the other ear. And I might just kind of grab his muzzle really quick. Good boy. And then I'll let him go and I'll do some scratching. But I want him comfortable with his face being handled. So looking in the eyes, I'll just kind of look in an eye and then do a little bit of petting. And he's done with that. Bud. So the other thing I've done with him is just flip him over to look at his belly. Um, it's also how I like to start doing the nails. But I sit on the ground and put my legs out and just grab him under the armpits and hold him like this. So when he knows how to be here and be, be still, it's a nice way to just kind of have a good grip on him and do his nails, which someone's been doing his nails because they look really good. But for now, I'm not doing his nails. I'm just putting him here. Give him a little bit of a scratch, and then I let him go. Don't bite my pants, right? Excellent. Good job, bud. What do you think? And that's it. That's all we're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sassy. Sassy boy. Huh, sassy boy. Oh, my. So he's probably going to, he's, he likes to nip at faces. So he's probably going to do that in a second and I'll show you how I would correct it. I'm trying not to get him too riled up. I'm not like, like my voice is pretty low and I'm not touching him like super, um, excitedly. Good boy. And he's actually being, being really good. He's, he keeps thinking about putting his mouth on me, but he hasn't. And I think a large part of why he has not is, again, just because of the way I'm touching him. You done with me? Huh? You done with me? Good boy. What are you doing, crazy? What are you doing? Ow! No. Good. So he just got me with his teeth a little bit. It didn't actually hurt, but I want him to know that I felt it. Um, so if he does that, everything stops. I grabbed him for a second and told him no. Um, and then, and then just kind of ignored him after that.